right have and have not fans I was only going to do one video tonight and call it quits because it's past midnight most of my day was spent getting things ready to ship from eBay over 120 items it was a long day but very productive but I did a video right before this one about Erica's sister potentially popping up in the show in the upcoming season if you want to get the full details and you got to watch that video it's like what 14 15 minutes long but in any case while doing the video I kind of mentioned that you know what maybe I'll do a separate video about the whole Erica's sister thing and how those two met I think I did a video way back one of my first videos that really got a lot of views was why does Erica hate Candace and this video, I want to talk about something, and I'm going to be talking about a character that is a fan favorite and people want me to do videos on, but honestly, there's no point because he's dead and he's not coming back, but Warlock, not Quincy, Warlock. And the video is going to be covering how Warlock and Erica got together. Now, keep in mind, this video is mainly speculation because we only know so much about the characters, which is one of the damning things about the haves and the have nots where the characters who get a lot, who are, I guess you could say, the characters who show up for a couple of episodes. Uh, what well, it's not reoccurring, right? It's not cameo. Basically they show up for a couple episodes to serve a specific purpose. And then for the most part, they're kind of, you know, tossed to the wayside unless Tyler Perry brings them back within the next season or so to play a bigger role. Erica and Maggie Day are both prime contenders examples of this because uh, the actresses have said in interviews, we were originally supposed to be in maybe two to three episodes tops, but Tyler decided to flush out the characters more. So what do we know about Erica and Warlock? The main things are, I guess you could say, Warlock is the head of his crew, you know, drug lord pimp and so many other things i mean it seemed like we learned way more about the things warlock does but there's still so much we don't know so when it comes down to it going back to the episode from season three episode 11 48 hours we learned that erica has kids who stay with her parents her father who's a pastor and his excuse me and her stepmother her kids want nothing to do with her because they know about her certain lifestyle but then she also warns Candace not to bring Quincy Jr. to her house because this was during the time period where Warlock was periodically showing up to threaten or assault Candace because he was mad about her lying about how much money she extorted from Jim Cryer and wanted $2 million or her and her brother Benny will be killed. Now, Erica was trying to help Candace by saying, look, let your son stay with your mom. Candace didn't want that because she was under the impression that if Quincy Jr. stayed with Hannah, she would turn Quincy Jr. against her. But once again, Erica was like, look, it's better that your kids, uh, you know, have nothing to do with you than to be alive. Now, or excuse me, your children want to have nothing to do with you rather than not being alive because of your lifestyle. So we learned that Erica had a sister named Jasmine who was mutilated by Warlock because she didn't pay him $700 that she owed him. And then later on in the series, we learn, and I think this was during the shift between the Sarandon Hotel to the Artesian Hotel. And pr so I guess this is, I think, season four I'm referencing. Basically, we learned that there was a point where Erica was Candace's bottom whore, and then she helped her climb the ranks. And at some point, Erica and Warlock got together. We don't know how long those two have been together, but from what we can understand, they're together, but they don't get involved with the other's operation. Pretty much like Warlock can do whatever he pleases. Oh, wait, is, is, the, is the correct term an open relationship? I don't really know. See, this is what happens when you've been single for so long. <laughs> but in any case, um, you know, Warlock was popping up at the hotel when Erica was with David and he was jealous of David. But it was just a situation where, look, I don't get involved with your life. You don't get involved with my business. But in any case, um, it seems to me and this is just my speculation here. And this I guess you could say this theory is kind of rooted in how Erica hate why Erica hates Candace and things like that. Maybe Jasmine, Erica's older sister, kind of inspired Erica to run with the same kind of crowd. I mean, Jasmine uh, maybe was at the level of Candace, so to speak, in terms of, 
I, I hate to say this, but like the whore charts involve, I guess you could say the ranking, like we saw Pimp Candace in season five. So given the fact that Erica was once Candace's bottom whore, that means she has been pimping before. This is why we need either flashback episodes or a prequel series, because for all we know, well, yeah, this actually makes sense. Perhaps, you know, when Candace and Quincy were, to, well, see, look at this. For people who wanted me to talk Quincy, I need to talk about Quincy in this video. During her days with Quincy, when Candace was with Quincy, you know, those two were running their own game. So it's possible that um, Candace had, you know, girls that she would send out, you know, to do jobs for her as a pimp. So I could understand that maybe, just maybe, Candace and Jasmine were kind of on the same level at some point. But then Jasmine was a prime example of, Someone who Warlock actually took care of, you know, someone who he, you know, lent money to and things like that. But then she came up short one time and then got punished as a result of that. And then that's why Candace was a bit shaken when she realized that Jasmine was Erica's sister. So going back to Erica, the fact that they had a father who was in the ministry. Well, that doesn't mean, you know, his children were protected from the streets. So Erica decided to go on that fast track as well, but she obviously couldn't start at the level of Jasmine. So that's how she got involved with Candace as the bottom whore. So maybe this is where the resentment came in because Erica in a way is kind of like Candace. Um, obviously when we saw Erica with David, we knew that Erica was in no way, shape or form as skilled in terms of reading people and conning people at the level of Candace because Candace, whatever she said, to do for David when Erica did it, the results were exactly as Candace predicted. So I figure that with Erica, she probably tried to, I guess you could say, jump the line. Uh, maybe this is a weird example to use, but remember in the movie Will Smith uh, Pursuit of Happiness when he was at the uh, the job trying to get sales? I have not watched that movie in a long time. I, I think I need to rewatch it. But I think it was at a point where he was in a call center. I can relate because I was in a call center three years. And all the interns or whatever, the potential employees, they had like a list of people they had to call through. And instead of doing it by order, he decided to just jump to like the top of the list or something. So he did that and actually the results paid off. So really, Erica, I look at the same way. Instead of trying to climb the po um the, the, the whore charts, you know, step by step, she decided to go for the top dog. So perhaps... Jasmine and Warlock were potentially involved, but Erica wanted what her sister had. And instead of just simply looking at it as her hating Candace because she was once her bottom bitch or whore, so she possibly, and guys, excuse the language, but I'm quoting the episodes. That's the one thing I've been working on, trying not to use profanity as much as my videos lately. But whenever I do use profanity, it's typically when I'm quoting a character. Just wanted to put out this that disclaimer. So instead of just hating Candace because of how she was treated when she was the bottom bitch, you know, physical abuse, like, you know, backhand. We saw how Air, um, Gia was treated by Candace. So what I'm thinking is maybe Erica was really jealous of the attention that Warlock was giving Candace because when he first appeared, you know, Warlock, as soon as he appeared on screen, I'm like, I'm going to like this guy. He, uh, to me, I always made the comparison of Warlock kind of like being the older brother of Candace in the streets. In a way, I looked at Warlock and Candace the same way I looked at Benny and Candace. Benny being, you know, Candace's older brother at home. Yes, at the time, Benny was written to be older. And we're not having that debate now. That was something that happened early on. And then we look at Warlock as the older brother in the street someone who could look at candace you know when she's out running her game because remember both warlock and benny were protective of candace when it came to quincy they didn't like him so when you look at it from that perspective as time went on it seemed like oh damn especially when you know uh warlock and his crew kidnapped jim cryer it really seemed like he and candace were almost in a romantic kind of thing so I'm thinking that maybe Erica got jealous of Candace because of the fact that she was kind of in the realm that she wanted to be in. She was in the territory that she wanted to claim as her own. Like for, I, I really don't know how long Erica and Warlock have been together, but it seems like those two have had like a mutual agreement that they can both run their operations. Obviously Warlock is a pimp. He's going to be messing around with other women. And then Erica being a escort 
she's going to be messing around with other men. But they're both making their money. Never, I guess you could say, they don't bring their business home, if you will. Like, you know, they don't bring their funk of their ill-gotten gains to their relationship, if you will. I guess it's the best way to put it. So what I'm saying is, maybe Jasmine was who Candace was at one time. Someone who was really close to Warlock and someone who he really trusted. But the fact that they betrayed his trust is why he did what he did to them. If I'm not mistaken, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was stated somewhere in an episode that Warlock actually killed his father because his father crossed him on something. I think that was actually brought up. So Warlock is one of those characters where, hey, you know what? If you're on his good side, he got your back. But if you, I guess you could say, rub him the wrong way, he wants you dead. So perhaps, you know, with Jasmine... The $700, it wasn't the fact that it was $700. It was the fact that Warlock felt betrayed. And we saw how... I, I really hated how they portrayed him as a monster after he found out that Candace lied to him. He became very unstable. And yeah, he was even worse than Quincy. So when it comes to... Well, then again, Quincy wanted to choke and kill Candace on sight. Huh. Oh, well, that's for you to decide. But what I'm thinking is maybe Erica looked at what her sister i mean because that's usually how siblings are they want what their sibling has maybe erica felt like my sister's up there with warlock that's where i want to be and then after her being mutilated and everything that's when erica maybe swooped in to take her sister's place but then the fact that she saw how cozy warlock and candace were she's like now this 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 tramp who treated me like trash now sort of bottom bitch now she's rubbing elbows with my man? I don't think so. Then that could explain how Warlock and Candace were work Warlock and Erica are working together against Candace. So that's my theory. I hope that made sense, guys. Like I said, it's mainly speculation based off everything we do know from the series, which isn't much, but as the story went on, we got little breadcrumbs as to the backstory between these characters. Like, we don't know how long they've been running together. I think there was a time where Erica's like, hey, um, this was, I believe, when Charles entered the picture. And Erica was mentioning, I think this is when she got slapped by Candace for saying, that isn't too bad. When Candace said that Charles wanted Benny to be thrown under the bus for the Quincy Maxwell murder in order for Candace to get off. And I think she said, like, you know, you want to, you know, get cozy like the old days, hinting that her and Candace used to do things with each other back in the day. So I don't know. So with that being said, how Warlock and Erica got together, I don't know the timetable of it. Um, Erica's kids, are any of those kids actually Warlocks? I don't know. I think it's possible that Erica probably has kids by other men. Because remember, she tried to get pregnant by David and guys... She was checking her ovulation stick and then it told her that this would be a good time for her to get pregnant. Well, wait, doesn't that stick mean she's fertile or whatever? So if her and David had sex at that moment, then it was a good chance she was going to get pregnant. They had sex in the jacuzzi because that's when David was so sad and remorseful because he put hands on Veronica. They had sex and then like the next day she got killed. So I'm not an expert on this, kind of like the whole Amanda situation with Professor Cannon. But the fact that she died about, what, 24 hours after they had sex when she was, uh, you know, able to get pregnant. I don't know if it really matters if she was pregnant or not. So, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. So it is possible that her kids are the result of her conning other men and trying to get money from them. And another thing, the fact that her kids are nowhere near Warlock might hint that Warlock doesn't know she has kids. Maybe not by him. You want a comic book example? Fine. DC Comics and Justice, one of my favorite comic runs of excellent video games. Harley Quinn and the Joker, kind of a similar situation. The Joker runs a gang, Harley Quinn's his girl, Warlock runs a gang, Erica's his girl. She got pregnant by Joker and then disappeared for almost a year, nine months. Came back, Joker just thought, oh, you're so gone. Ha <laughs> ha, never mind, you're back. So she had a daughter and didn't want the Joker to know about her because she knows about the Joker and how he does things. So maybe Erica did the same thing, where it's maybe a situation where she was running game, got knocked up, didn't want Warlock to know about it, and had the kids and then left the kid with the parents. Kids with the parents. Who knows? I don't know. Just speculating. So with that being said, that's my theory on how Warlock and Erica got together. 
Now, the big request, I think the biggest question is when Erica was telling the story about Jasmine and how her sister was mutilated by Warlock, she did seem nervous and, you know, sad. But at the same time, when it was revealed that her and Warlock were together, that side of Erica was completely gone, almost like it was a sham. So one could argue that even though she did love her sister, at the end of the day, her life, the hustle, was more important. Candace is the exact same way. I believe she does love her mother and brother. And this is before, you know, the episode 15 minutes when her and uh, Hannah reconciled. I'm really referring to Candace back in like season four. She loves her brother, her son, and her mom. But at the end of the day, she loves the hustle more than anything else. Same thing with Erica, who is almost a knockoff of Candace. And you're probably wondering, well, Jeremy, you've said in this video plenty of times that Erica is nowhere near as good as Candace, yet she was able to fool Candace. You got me there. But at the end of the day, just because you are able to outwit someone, it doesn't mean you're actually smarter than them. I probably contradicted myself with that statement, but it's 12.30 a.m. and I don't really care. But in any case, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think is the backstory of Erica and Warlock's relationship? When exactly did they get together? Did they get together when Erica was still Candace's bottom whore, bottom bitch? Was she jealous of Candace and her closeness with, uh, her closeness with Warlock? There, there are so many questions, and like I said earlier, this is why we need either flashback sequences or a prequel series, because there are so many unanswered questions about some of the fans' favorite characters, yet they get the axe, but characters like Wyatt and Justin, and they're just still on the show. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts. Make sure you follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up for real. And hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon because I think I have more what if videos that I'll be doing in the near future while the show's on hiatus. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you just saw, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Or if you have anything you would like to add to the video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with me on social media, go to the description box. All of my links for social media are right there. Also, if you feel like you would like to donate to the channel, make sure to click on the link to PayPal. Any amount helps a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars. As a full time YouTuber, any support from my fans really does mean a lot to me. Finally, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you're kept up to date on any new content I post to the channel. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you in the next video.